Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! And in this one we're gonna be reviewing the newest vehicle added to the game, the Declassy Draugr, at least that's what I hope it's pronounced. In any case, we're gonna be looking at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs, and ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if this off-roading beast is worth it for you. And with that, let's start with our patented 360 around the vehicle, while I give you some facts about it. First off, this vehicle is based on a current uh, Chevrolet off-roading concept, which uh, nobody knows the name of. It's gonna cost you $1.9 million in-game currency, or $1.4, depending if you've unlocked the trade-in price for it. And in my opinion, it looks very cool and kind of futuristic. In terms of interactivity, this is what you can expect from it. You can open the hood, both doors, and that's it, because it doesn't really have a trunk. Ooh, there's a big old engine in there that I'm too short to see, kind of like in real life. There's a cool fire extinguisher thing, or that's uh, nitrous oxide, we're gonna know more. But actually, scratch that! Actually, the tailgate opens! Really cool, and we have two giant um, spare tires in the back. Really cool, all, all in all, I'm really excited about this vehicle. This is probably the vehicle that I'm most excited for in this entire DLC, which... Uh, it's not really saying much because the DLC kind of sucked so far, but eh, it is what it is. In any case, let's jump in and look at what the interior of the vehicle looks like. And here we are inside the Draugr, and uh, well, the first uh, disappointment that I have is this is supposed to be the uh, ex extreme super duper edition of GT Online. Why don't we have working rear view mirrors? This is the PlayStation 5 version of the game. This is a game that came out on PlayStation 3, I'm just saying. In terms of the interior, it looks really cool, and I can't see the fire extinguisher slash uh, nitrous oxide thing, so I can't really confirm what it is. In terms of how the vehicle sounds, however... It sounds like an absolute beast. And with that, this is the lighting situation of it, so... I'm assuming the light bar is also going to light up uh, when it uh, becomes dark, but uh, meh, we're never going to know. With that, we're off to Los Santos Customs, and before we go there, we're going to see what type of drivetrain we have here. And of course, it's it's an all-wheel... Uh, since it's an off-roader, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's an all-wheel drive vehicle, so no surprises there. And with that, we're off to Los Santos Customs, and on our way there, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Draugr. And, uh, God, I still hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. And, uh, honestly, for an off-road vehicle, because, yes, this vehicle is a part of the off-road category in GT Online, feels kind of nice. The center of gravity is surprisingly low feeling on this, uh, meaning that it doesn't really have a lot of uh, delayed movement. Like uh, my other favorite off-roading vehicle, the Karakara 4x4. I'm honestly surprised by how good this feels. The acceleration feels really good for an off-roading machine for something this size. The traction feels excellent, and the handling feels actually quite nice, kind of like a civilian car. The brakes, however, uh, need some work, but uh, keep in mind, this is the stock version of the vehicle. And here we are in Los Santos Customs, and as I said before, this vehicle is a part of the off-road category in GT Online. And as for how much you can sell it for, for a huge loss, so no surprises there. We're gonna repray, repray, respray the vehicle, and then we're gonna upgrade all the performance options up front, aside from the armor, because I don't care about that. And uh, this way we don't uh, forget anything at the end. Uh, let's see now, suspension, transmission, important, and, whoops, and turbo. Okay, and just by skimming over the customization options, I'm kind of excited for what we're in for. I saw some customizations that uh, I really haven't seen in quite a while. Okay, so we can make this very utilitarian. Okay, I think I like this maybe. Okay, let's let's go with this one. This one looks cool. Rear doesn't really have a lot of customization going on, but that yeah, is what it is. Doors. Oh my god, we can completely change the design of the doors, which is something that I actually love about this vehicle. Can this be the best custom customizing vehicle out of the entire DLC? Because so far, I, I gotta say, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing here. We can change the exhaust. Cool, so this vehicle is already ahead of a lot of other vehicles in this DLC. Oh my god, we can go with the chimneys! 
Now, let's go with this one. The chimneys are, are a bit too extreme for me. Hmm, the grill, even though this isn't really the grill, it's kind of the undercarriage of the vehicle. Let's go with this one. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Leveries. Here are all the leveries you can choose from. You guys probably know that I hate le- Ooh, this one actually looks kind of cool. Uh, I was about to say that I hate leveries, but uh, if something catches my eye, I'm not going to be ashamed to put it on. So... Those were the deliveries. Seats. Now, this is something that I, that caught my eye when I first was skimming over the customization options. As we were upgrading the... What you call it? The performance. Carbon seats. Yeah, let's go with the carbon seats. They look incredibly uncomfortable, though. Skid plate. Okay, so like a rear diffuser. Let's go with this one. Snorkel. Oh, my God. We can put a snorkel on this one. Guys, can you imagine if this vehicle... Oh my god, we're going to be testing out if the snorkel is actually real. Okay, we can put on something that is supposed to be a spoiler, I guess. Okay. It, it improves the traction, so that's what I all I care for. Uh, we can lower the vehicle, even though this doesn't really make sense, since it's an off-roader. We can customize the trunk. Oh my god, we can... Okay, we can... Hmm, <laughs> very interesting. Very, very interesting. I kind of like the stock one, though. Maybe this one? Yeah, let's go with this one. And, uh... Something that I want to see if... If we change the wheel... We can't really change the tires, can we? Tire design? Nope. I want to see if we change the tire design of the... Now let's go with off-road, stock rims. If we change the tire design of the... No, it doesn't. I was I was gonna say if we change the tire design of the wheels themselves, if the tire on the back is gonna change, but I guess not. Actually, let's see. Nope, it doesn't change. So let's go back to the stock rims and wheels because I kind of like those. And uh, the last thing we're gonna do in terms of customization is we're gonna customize the color, of course. Oh no, let's see. Did I miss it? I know, I know. I'm an idiot. Oh, now let's go metallic, and, uh... Well, this looks very inconspicuous for being an off-roader. Secondary color. Uh, something that I uh, noticed immediately is that we can't uh, put a logo on the vehicle, which I guess kind of makes sense, because there isn't really a space for a logo. But uh, something that I wanted to mention. So, here we are, done with the customization. Let's go out and... See our uh, work at, uh, you know, in the sunlight. And here we are, finally outside of Los Santos Customs. And yes, I kept the original tires. And uh, I can only assume that the light bar actually lights up at night. But uh, that's only an assumption. And uh, as, uh, as far as the way the vehicle behaves after fully customizing it on the road, honestly, it behaves like a completely different beast. It's so much snappier. Uh, keep in mind, the vehicle was really good when it was stock, but now it just feels even better. Wow, I'm actually blown away by how good this feels. Honestly, it feels like, um, in terms of acceleration, it feels like a very slow sports car. Which, which is kind of a backhanded compliment, but it feels really nice for what it is. Okay, that was me being stupid. Yeah, at least we know it's kind of durable. Come on, baby. Okay, and it's riding really high, which is also kind of good. I just wanted to go to the mountainside and just explore a little bit, because this is, after all, an off-roading vehicle. So what are you going to be doing with it? Most likely, off-roading. But yeah, this... Uh Guys, do you see the acceleration this beast has? This is insane, and this is on a steep hill. Like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Like, look at this. I'm at a complete stop. I'm pressing the gas pedal, and it, it just goes. Hmm. I gotta say, I think this is my new favorite uh, off-roading vehicle. And keep in mind, this is a four-person car. Slash truck. Slash um, tank. Yeah, really impressed by this one. Really, really happy by what I'm seeing here. I wasn't expecting this. Honestly, the DLC, as I mentioned a little bit ago, is has kind of been disappointing so far, at least for me it has. 
But yeah, this is this is totally making it up for me. Wow. Really liking what I'm seeing here. To answer the question, even if the snorkel doesn't work, is it worth yes. It is by far the best vehicle that I've driven in um and the most fun vehicle I've driven from the DLC. By by far. Uh, there it's not even close. Maybe the XO is kinda close, but that one is in a different category, and in case you don't know of it, I reviewed it a couple of weeks ago, so go watch it on my channel. But yeah, this one feels incredible. For what it is. And even though I, I drive like an idiot, the vehicle is still handling quite nicely. As you can see here. But yeah. Really happy by what I'm seeing here. As I said before, totally worth it. So if you, if that's what you're into, just uh, you know, hearing my opinion of it, yeah, go get it. But for those of you who are interested in the snorkel part of the video, just stay tuned for a little bit more as I drive around and crash a bit more as we're going and making our way to some water. But yeah, I'm really happy by this, by by just what Rockstar did with the vehicle. Honestly, the only real complaint I have about the vehicle, and it's not really the vehicle's fault, is it it doesn't have working rear view mirrors. But nah, it is what it is. It's it's an old game. I don't know why they couldn't have the. They, I have no idea how they couldn't make it work. Uh, it's a PlayStation 3 game running on the PlayStation 5. Like, come on, Rockstar, pull your crap together. But here we are, almost at the lake that uh, we're gonna be testing out the vehicle and it just flies you can see it just flies up the mountain insane insane I'm so happy with this I'm definitely not selling this one I'm probably gonna be selling every other vehicle that has been released so far from the DLC aside from the XO of course but yeah I think I'm gonna be definitely keeping this one and now for the moment of truth let's see if the snorkel actually works and if you guys are not familiar the snorkel is that little thingy over there uh, beside the driver that is supposed to make this vehicle sort of amphibious so if I submerge it to about this point it should still be able to drive so I'm gonna just park it right here and wait a couple of seconds and uh, yep so far it's driving now let's just submerge it a little bit more now it's destroyed Ah, okay, so the, the snorkel is just for show, basically, but... Uh, you know what? That doesn't change my opinion of the, ve of the vehicle. It's, it's so cool. It's such a cool vehicle. And for the last part of the review, since you guys have been so nice to watch this far, let's see how much money it actually costs us to replace it. Morse Mutual, how can I be of service? Okay, $20,000, so it ain't okay. cheap. But, uh, yeah, that's the video review for you guys. Is it worth it? Yes. Two thumbs up, three thumbs up uh, if you have that many. But, yeah, go get it. It's, it's incredibly fun, especially if you like off-roading in the game, like I do. Maybe I'm gonna go to Mount Chiliad at some point that I... Uh, you can't really see here, but uh, it's, it's, I promise you it's over there somewhere. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful or informative or both. And if that's the case, please don't forget to leave a like. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of the Draugr. And uh, with all that said and done, once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be catching you all in the next one.